I've been seeing a ton of traders fail over this past year and it's getting out of hand. There's too many people that are not knowledgeable in this space and they're just watching YouTube videos expecting to see a breakthrough. Let me tell you this, I guarantee after you watch this video, you will understand the markets and how to trade NAS 100 100 times better. I will be breaking down my step by step NAS 100 strategy and how every single one of you watching it can start trading it as soon as tomorrow. I'll be releasing the curtains and dropping some very vital information in this video. Before we get started, if you guys do wanna be mentored by me, I do offer one-on-one -on -one mentorship, but the only way for you to see if you're even qualified is to book a call with me. There should be a link in the description below where you guys can book a call. And hey, I just wanna see where you're at with your trading and overall, if I can even help you out. Secondly, I do live trading sessions with my students every single day too. So if you wanna trade live with me, check out the link in the description. And one last thing, if you guys could show some type of love, like this video, drop a comment below, subscribe to my channel, obviously, if you have not, and also check out my channel. I have a ton of other videos based around trading that will help every single one of you out. Now, without further ado, let's get into this video. All right, first off, I want to let you guys know exactly what NAS 100 is and all the back end information that is actually very, very vital for you guys to be able to understand this. Now, it's NAS 100 and it's different for all brokers because the symbol is just different. It could be NDX 100, US 100, but NAS 100 is what it is actually known to be called. But NAS 100 is the NAS stack, and it is a United States of America index. And it says 100 in it because it consists of the top 100 companies in America that are tech companies. So these are like the top tech companies, Amazon, Netflix, Facebook, companies like that. Um, it's very important that you guys understand this information to actually get context behind it because there's a lot of little things that we can do to fine tune it to make it a million times easier to trade this pair. I'm gonna give you guys a hack right now. What you guys should do is when I'm telling you guys this information, pause the video and go do it. Download the app on your phone, CNBC. It's our news app that we use for NAS 100. Now go to where it says watch list and add these top five companies. This is gonna give you guys the biggest breakthrough. First one, Microsoft. Second one, United Health Group. Third one, Goldman Sachs. Fourth one, Apple. Fifth one, Amazon. These are the top five companies consistent in the NAS stack, in NAS 100, whatever you guys want to call it. And what we're doing is it has a little thing to the very right of each company that says percentage change. At 6.30 a.m. PST, every single morning, the data is going to come out for all these companies and tell us exactly what's going on. If we see all those companies are green or the top three are green, buy it. If they're all red, sell NAS 100. But here's the thing, don't just use that to say, oh, I'm gonna just buy it because of this. Like, You guys wanna always do your analysis first to even figure out what kind of setup are you looking for for the day. So when I'm trading guys, I'm gonna break it down very, very simply for you. I start on the daily time frame and I figure out what type of trend we're in. And here's what you guys need to see. You guys need to see the whole outlook of the NASDAQ and NAS 100 overall. Back here in 2014, the NASDAQ was priced at $3,600, $3,688 to be exact. And that was in 2014, so about nine years ago. And today, we're sitting at $14,988 currently right now. Now it's important to be able to do this, but what I like to do when I first start trading is overall look at the trend. Yeah, we're in an uptrend because if you look at indexes like NAS 100, the S&P 500, US 30, they're known to go up in price. So our overall bias most all the times year round are going to be bullish. We wanna be buying it. But currently right now, we have this support sitting right here that was broken. So a lot of these candles are pretty bearish we're looking for sells at this point in time. So that's what I'm doing first is going to the daily time frame and understanding like where is the flow of the market right now? Currently, we're in a downtrend. And I like to go to the four hour time frame. And I like to look at the previous candle, but realistically, I look at this one candle right here. 
this candle that says 1900 this is actually going to be 2 a.m to 6 a.m so at this is pst by the way so this candle closes at 6 a.m i'm going to see how this candle is closing to give me confluence whether i'm going to go for a buy or sell so i'm adding up all my biases on these time frames to figure out what i'm actually going to do so on the daily i'm looking for the trend on the four hour and the one hour what i'm looking for is any market structure do i see any a patterns for a sell do i see any v patterns for a buy do i see any m patterns for a sell any w patterns for a buy whatever it may be i'm using that for the um hour one chart or the hour one chart and the hour four chart i'm looking for market structure now what i like to do is end on the minute 15. And during the minute 15 time frame, I'm looking at my 615 candle. So let me go to my actual NAS 100 chart right here. That's a lot easier to see. Once I get to the minute 15 chart, I'm looking at this specific candle right here. It opens at 615, closes at 630 because you guys need to understand the market open is at 630 AM PST right at 630. That's when all the hedge funds, the banks, the people with all this big money are injecting their market into the markets or into NAS100, NASDAQ, or they're pulling it out. So this is our reference candle right here. Once this candle closes, boom, I'm looking to take my sell position or my buy position. So once again, a recap daily, we're using it for the overall trend. Hour four and hour one, we're using those for market structure. Then on the minute 15, we're gonna end on the minute 15, but we're using the minute 15 to figure out what candle are we gonna execute on that's in confluence with the markets. Maybe you don't like this candle, how it closed right here, cool, and you wait like an hour. And then you come back and you see this hammerhead candle or this doji right here rejecting the 20 EMA and you're like, do you know what? That's my entry candle right there. I'm gonna sell after that candle closes. So you guys all understand candlestick recognition a million times differently than me. I understand how to read the candles much differently than you. And that's perfectly fine, but this is the whole system and how we're gonna be doing this. Now, this is what you guys also can do if you want to switch it up. And I'm going to give you guys some homework after this video. But what I like to do is I like to go through different time frames and see how these candles are closing right at the market open. So let me write this out for you guys. So let's write out time frames and times. Ignore the first, the grammar. Who cares at this point in time? So the minute 15, what we're using is we're going to be looking at the 6, 15 a.m. candle. That's our key candle right at the market open. Two, the minute five, we're going to be looking at the 6, 25 a.m. Three, these are all the time frames that you could be looking at for the market open. We have our minute 30, and we're going to be looking at the 6 a.m. candle. Okay. So we have our three time frames that we can use to actually figure out whether we're going to take a buy or a sell or what time frames that we're going to be looking at to execute our trade. So the first one, minute 15, just went over that, the 6.15 to 6.30 candle. Now let's go to the minute 30. The candle that we're looking at right here, the 6 a.m. to 6.30. So it opens at 6 a.m., closes at 6.30. Once this candle closes, ding, 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 it's the market open. And if you're smart, what you'll do is use all three of these time frames that I'm going to give you in confluence to make sure they're all adding up. All the candles on these time frames are in confluence, giving you a really, really good, really good setup. Okay. So on the minute 30, we have the 6 a.m. to 6 30 candle. Then we have the minute five. I honestly used to use the minute five and the minute um, 15 in confluence, they work very well together. So we can see right here, this candle is 625 to 630 right here. After this candle closes, it's the market open. So you guys should go through and just scroll back. Use this indicator, by the way, so it makes it easier. The sessions, sessions indicator right here. Because what this is going to do is show us exactly where the New York session is. And then go through and look on the minute five chart at the 625 to 630 candle. See how it closes. And then maybe you want to look at the candles after. Go through the previous day. Look at all these time frames that I gave you and exactly what type of setup that you would be looking for because we all familiarize the markets differently. If I look at a setup 
I'm going to be like, that's my perfect setup right there. And then you might look at it and be like, Colt, I don't see that as a perfect setup at all and vice versa. So what I want you to do, timing is so important when it comes to trading. I want you guys to go through these charts and look at these times on the minute five, the minute 15 and the minute 30 and just see what type of setups that you see repeatedly happening over and over again and focus on only taking those setups. The one setups like this where the market is just so smooth, but yet it's having really nice moves because from this candle to 625, if we were to enter a sell from there and road it to this level, 968 pips. If you can catch one or two trades like this a week, you are Gucci. Especially if you have like a funny account, if you have a 200K account, and let's say you're using a 40 lot on my Forex funds or FTMO, if you catch a thousand pips, that's four thousand dollars you made in a week. Do that four times a month, 16K. At the end of the month, your profit split's gonna be like twelve, thirteen thousand dollars, which is pretty damn good for only taking one freaking trade. So that's what I want you guys to do. Hope you guys got some type of value and be an action taker. I gave you guys a lot of key information right now. The CNBC app, the time frames. You can actually now go through and look at these time frames, but don't be that person to watch this whole video and then you click the next YouTube video on the right side that you see because you just want to watch videos. Like you need to actually go apply the information I gave you because it's very vital for your success. Now, I will see you guys on the next video. Peace out.